special guest is Matt. So Matt is going to talk about Ilex Verticillatus, uh, uh, the changes that him and his grower team did this year uh, to uh, get you much better berries for the fall. So take it away, Matt. All right. Okay, so I hope you guys are prepared and brought some pencils and papers because I just drank a lot of coffee. <laughs> to talk to you about what's uh, been going on for us out here. So let's just kind of scroll through the pictures real quick. We got Goblin Orange. Uh, the next one on the picture is uh, Barry Poppins there. You kind of see a little bit of difference. The next one's Winter Red. Um, the next uh, picture after that's Magical Berry. And the next one is Red Sprite. Okay, so we've got a lot of different varieties of Ilex for just a lot of that we've been kind of conquering and trying to go about and trying to make them get a good berry set for you guys. So go back to the Winter Red and I'm going to show you guys what we've been kind of doing with that. Um, so if you go back to that picture, you can see what this plant tries to do out for us out here in this in this um, in the container area. What it tries to do is it just keeps growing and growing and growing. See all that uh, light green growth? That's growth that's been put on by this plant since um, maybe the end of July, beginning of August. So it's actually grown and stretched out since then. So what we were doing prior to that is we were um, taking some time and spraying it with a few different things just to try to get that berry set down in there so it didn't grow past um, what it was doing. So about 18 inches high, if you if you look at that ruler, that's where a lot of the majority of the, the berries are. Okay, and if you go back to all the pictures, that's about right where all the berries are set at. And the reason why that is, the reason is because where they were trimming them, that's exactly right where the trim line was at. So you can see that on that berry poppins, 18 inches, that's right where the berries are at. Anything past that, you're not going to have any good berries. And the reason is because of the maturity of the wood. Okay, so once you have um, an immature wood, you know, past the bloom time, because all that new growth is being pushed past when it does bloom, you're not going to have the berries. Okay, so that's something noteworthy to take to the customers. So what we try to do here is we try to make something stop and just stay at that 18 inches tall. So go back to that goblin orange. And what you're going to see there is something what we've been trying to do. And that is the berries are really, really close to the edge of that plant. Okay. And that's a lot more compact plant in, in nature, but we've made it stop. And that's because we were spraying it with a PGR growth regulator. And we finally figured out some tricks of what to do with that during the summertime. Okay. Now, there's some other tricks to getting this thing to bury the way it does, right? You need, you also need a, um, you need to make sure that the plant's not stressed out in the summertime. And we, we do that pretty well with keeping the fertigation going and the water going on it. Um, you got the, um, you also need the mail. That's, uh, that's something, of course, you need to do too. You need to have the, the, the mail for it. You also need to make sure that nothing's eating the berries off of it, right? The ber uh, birds or whatnot. And then you also just need to make sure that um, it has some sunlight, which we obviously give it out here in the container area. Okay, so those those tricks are what's going to get you the good berry set. So um, with that, we have done an excellent job out here with um, with the Alex Verticillata. Now there is some things with this, the Goblin Orange, now that's your, your proven winter one that they came out with and has a little bit of orange tint on the berry. Um, the berry pop is just kind of go through them again. That one's the red one that the uh, proven winners came out with. That's a little bit, uh, but the, yeah, and Cheryl loves that one. And that that's, one's, that's her favorite. That one's a little bit taller stature than the, bear, than the Goblin Orange, okay? So that's the two different ones there from proven winner. Um, the winter red, now that's your non-program one for the guys that are um, that like that older variety in the black pot. Um, that's there. And then the next one's a magical berry. Now that one's our line, that's a PTW line. Now that's a good one too. That one gets a little bit taller, kind of like your berry poppins, okay? Uh, but really good berry set on that one. And the last one's the red spray. Now that one's kind of a 
sorter stature one comparative to the winter red, right? So it's a non program one that's um, a little bit shorter in sight and height to the winter red. So all of these, except for the winter red, um, can pollinate pretty easily with with a male that's um, that we grow. That male is um, the goblin orange or goblin okay. goblin okay. guy. Okay. Okay, so goblin guy can uh, cross pollinate with all those ones. Winter red's a little different. Winter red's going to need a southern gentleman. And there's another one that we grow, uh, Mr. Poppins, mm -hmm. and that one can cross pollinate with all these as well, except for winter red. Winter red's uh, a little different. That one needs a southern gentleman. Okay, so with that, now you know there are some people out there that say they can get southern gentlemen to cross pollinate with the other varieties and, and that is true um it all depends on your spring though okay so if you got a long drawn out spring where things are blooming for long periods of time you can get the southern gentlemen to cross pollinate with the other ones but proven winners they came out with a pretty good line big, uh, big marketing brand right they, you got a goblin orange you got a goblin guy you got mr poppins you got uh, berry popping. So they, they try to make it in sync there just to try to make it easy for the customer to, to match up what uh, what the male is with the female. Uh, for us, Magical Berry, when we got that one, we, we don't really have a, a man to go with that. We don't have a um, um, a magical man. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we will. Maybe we'll have that in the in, uh, Magical Man's Berries or something like that. I don't know. We'll have something on the line for that though. But um, but that one can be pollinated with the uh, goblin guy. Okay, so we have plenty of those in in the line. But this is something that we're actually really excited about because um, I know in the past the berries have always been uh, hidden down inside that plant, and right now they're uh, pretty consistently within that 18 inch range of the plant. And anything above that was new growth in this year. But we're really excited because we can um, going forward in the next year and the next year, we only sprayed half the crops with that PGR, but uh, going forward, we're gonna, we're gonna spray them all. And we're just gonna take this to the next level because we saw the results and we saw what we could do. And, um, and that's something to kind of talk up and get excited with your customers about. Um, I just for just a lot of those, and some other key notes about it is how, why it's used, right? And why it's used is because it's so tough. Uh, insect resistant, disease resistant, um, they're just a tough plant and they they're used pretty much anywhere in the landscape because they can tolerate wet feet. They can tolerate um, areas that other plants can't. OK, the only trick with Ilex Retisla is it can't be dried out in the summertime. OK, and that's where uh, going back to the berry set, if you don't, if you stress out the plant with no water in the summertime, you will not have any berries. OK, so that's the only thing it doesn't like. But other than that, it's a really resilient plant. Okay, really tough. Um, that's why it's used every which way it can be used. It means it's great for decorative pieces in the in the winter time. People use the use them in uh, floral arrangements or whatnot during the winter time holidays, and and that's why because it's such a great looking plant with the good berries on there. Okay.